You said that if, they, if the, the special counsel's investigation looked into President Trump's finances, it would be crossing a red line. You said that, I think, in a television uh, uh, interview. The Attorney General has made clear that Mr. Rosenstein told the special counsel he could go into any matters that arose or made arise directly from the investigation. If matters arose from the investigation, directly or indirectly, that the Trump family owed lots of money to Russian oligarchs and people real close to Putin, and that affected the actions that they took as the President of the United States on behalf of the United States of America, would you agree that that was not crossing a red line, but in fact was a red line from Moscow that we need to look into? Congressman, when I made that statement, um, I was a private citizen and had no publicly available information. I, I only had publicly available information. And so I made that as a uh, commentator and not as the acting attorney general of the United States. I am very familiar with the responsibilities of my office as acting attorney general, and we make our decisions based on the law and the facts on a case-by-case -case basis. So that's no longer your opinion? It's not crossing a red line for him to look into the finances if they might have interfered with the objective judgment of the president concerning his duty of trust to the United States of America and not to his personal financial interest or his families. Congressman, as I, as I mentioned earlier, at the Department of Justice, and as, as long as I'm acting attorney general, we're going to follow the law and the facts wherever they may lead, and uh, we're going to do our jobs with fidelity.